Welcome to the unit Dyeing Process for Synthetic Fibers. In this unit, you will gain an understanding of the dyeing process for synthetic fibers. The final review section invites you to reflect on what you have learned. By end of this unit, students will be able to describe the dyeing process for synthetic fibers. Polyester Dyeing Application of dispersed dyes to polyester fibers. Dyeing of polyester with dispersed dyes at the boil for a reasonable length of time will produce only very pale shades. The compact structure of polyester does not open up well when immersed in boil water and more vigorous conditions are required for proper dyeing to take place. Good results with dispersed dyes are obtained when dyeing by one of the following methods. First, by using selected dispersed dyes having very small molecular size which can readily diffuse into the fibers. Second, atmospheric dyeing with dye carriers. Third, high temperature and high pressure polyester dyeing. Fourth, continuous dyeing by the thermosol process. Atmospheric pressure dyeing of polyester fibers with dye carriers. Certain chemicals called carriers are added to the dye bath. They swell the fibers at boiling temperature to relax the spaces between inner molecular structure of the fibers to accommodate the dye particles. The swollen fiber structure helps large dye molecules to diffuse more rapidly in the fiber. Some of the chemicals that are used as carriers are O-phenol, P-O-phenol, dichlorobenzene, trichlorobenzene. The carrier is usually added slowly during the dyeing process because if it is added at once, the dye, dye stuff must rush on to the material. Only a small percentage of polyester fibers in use is currently dyed by this method since it requires the use of large amounts of undesirable dye carriers. High temperature pressure dyeing of polyester fibers. Dyeing at temperature as high as 135 degrees centigrade is possible with new dyeing equipment that can withstand high pressures. Under these conditions, better diffusion and dye fastness are obtained without using dye carriers. Best results with exhaust dyeing are obtained when carried out at temperatures in the range of 130 degrees centigrade. Dying under these conditions gives first good overall fastness, especially wash fastness and color fastness to crocking. Second, it is particularly good leveling results. Third, it provides the opportunity to completely eliminate the use of dye carriers with their associated unpleasant properties. And fourth one, there, are, there is a possibility of using wide ranges of dispersed dyes and a better coverage of barry. Dying under pressure at lower temperature around 115 degrees centigrade is not recommended. However, for pastel shades, lower temperatures around 115 degrees centigrade or even atmospheric dyeing may be considered. A small amount of a dye carrier is sometimes used for leveling purpose. Rapid dyeing under pressure of polyester fiber. Rapid dyeing is only possible with machines that can operate under the following conditions. First, low liquor ratios, approximately 1 is to 7 to 1 is to 10. Second, uniform bath temperature. Third, high dye bath circulation and or fast movement of the fabric. The typical example of rapid dyeing of 100% polyester net that can be heat set and that is going to be 
scoured before dyeing. It involves several number of process. First, scour the non-ionic surfactant 1 to 2 grams per liter and sodium carbonate 1 to 1.5 grams per liter at 65 to 70 degrees centigrade for 15 to 20 minutes then rinse with a small amount of acetic acid. Second, set the bath temperature at 50 degree centigrade and add 0.5 to 1 percent anionic disposing agent, 0.25 percent sequestering agent, 0 to 2 percent dye carrier, acetic acid to pH to be maintained between 4.5 to 5. Run the bath for 5 to 10 minutes and check the pH. Add the required percent of pre-dispersed dyes slowly. Run the bath for 5 to 10 minutes and check the pH. Heat as rapidly as possible to 70 degrees centigrade. Then heat to 70 to 82 degrees centigrade at the rate of 2 degrees centigrade per minute. And heat from 82 degree centigrade to 130 degree centigrade at the rate of 1.5 degree centigrade per minute. Then die at 130 degree centigrade for 20 minutes. Further cool down the bath to 82 degree centigrade and rinse. Then after scour not needed for light to medium shades. Finally reduction clearing. Here set bath at 50 degree centigrade and add 2 percent sodium carbonate and rise the temperature to 77 degree centigrade and further add 2 to 3 percent sodium hydrosulfite and uh, run at 77 to 82 degree centigrade for 15 to 20 minutes. Then rinse the, with hot water and neutralize the acetic acid at 50 degree centigrade. Continuous dyeing or thermosol process of polyester fiber. The application is carried out continuously and consists of padding the polyester fabric with dispersed dyes, drying and then placing the fabric in a curing oven at 200 to 210 degree centigrade for less than 1 minute. During this process, the dyes diffuse and dissolve in the polyester molecular structure. The padding path contains in addition to the dyes acetic acid pH 4.5 4 to 5.5 and add wetting agent 1 to 3 grams per liter. A disperse, dispersing agent is added only if necessary. During the thermosol stage, dispersed dyes move into the polyester fibers through sublimation. Nylon dyeing. Application of dispersed dyes to nylon fibers. Dispersed dyes are the most suitable for nylon on account of their easy of application and uniform levelness. They are primarily used for producing pastel to medium shades. One of the main problems associated with dyeing nylon with dispersed dye is unlevel dyeing, which results from irregularities in fiber and it is referred as barry. This type of unlevelness shows up as lighter or darker streaks or stripes on woven or knitted fabrics extending crosswise. Barry results from physical and chemical variation in nylon fiber structures. In typical dyeing procedure, the bath is prepared with dispersed dyes and dispersing agent and the pH is adjusted to 5 to 6 with acetic acid. The nylon material is inserted and the dye bath temperature is gradually raised to 88 to 93 degree centigrade. Dyeing continues at maximum temperature of for about 60 minutes after which the material is rinsed and dried. The dyes widely used on nylon fibers are acid and pre-metallized acid dyes. Both anionic and cationic leveling agents are used to slow down the dye exhaustion. Dyeing is carried out at a temperature close to the boil for 1 to 2 hours. In general, acid leveling dyes are easy to level and can cover irregularities in yarn and fabrics. A wide range of colors with many bright shades are available. Selected acid leveling dyes can produce good wash fastness and light fastness with bright colors. Acrylic dyeing. Application of basic dyes to acrylic fibers. 
Acrylic fibers are almo almost always dyed with basic dyes that yield with wash and light fastness. This is a typical procedure for dyeing a medium shade on a 100% acrylic knit with basic dyes. The dye bath is prepared with dyeing assistant at 50 degree centigrade. Acetic acid is added to obtain a pH of 4.5 to 5 and sodium sulphate 5 to 10 percent own weight of fiber and a cationic retarder 1 to 2 percent of own weight of fiber are added as leveling agents. The fabric is entered and the bath is run for 5 minutes. Then the dissolved cationic dyes are added slowly over a period of 10 minutes after which the temperature is raised at 1 degree centigrade per minute to just below the glass transition temperature anywhere between 68 to 85 degree centigrade of the fiber. Dying temperature is kept at this point for 15 minutes after which it is raised to the boiling temperature. Then the dyeing continues at the boil for about 1 hour. When a proper shade is obtained, the dye bath is cooled very slowly to about 10 degree centigrade below the glass, glass transition temperature to avoid formation of creases and then dropped. The dyeing is completed by rinsing. You have come to the end of this unit. To summarize, in this unit, you have learned the dyeing process for synthetic fibers such as polyester, nylon and acrylics. Thank you.